Welcome everybody to Breeders' Cup 2023. You got horse profiles for the big one. That's the Long Jeans Breeders' Cup Classic. Santa Anita, November the 4th. We got a $6 million purse, grade one, one and one quarter mile on the dirt for three-year-old and up open company. 6.40 p.m. Eastern time is when the race will go off. All right, let's get to some horses. No jockeys are listed in the profile. They are not assigned to the horses for the Breeders' Cup yet. We'll start with an also eligible because we may have a few defectors that go to different races. Clapton is a four-year-old brethren colt out of Alexandra Riley by a fleet Alex, trained by Chad Summers. Has won two races from seven starts this year and most recently won the Lucas Classic at Churchill Downs on September 30th. Clapton. Senor Buscador, he could also run in the dirt mile. He's a five-year-old mineshaft horse out of Roses Desert by Desert God, trained by Todd Fincher. Has won two of six races this year, including the San Diego Handicap at Del Mar on the 29th of July. Senor Buscador. Bright future could also end up in the dirt mile. He's a four-year-old curling colt out of Sophia's Song by Bellamy Road, trained by Todd Pletcher. Has won three of five starts this year. Most recently, the Jockey Club Gold Cup Stakes winner at Saratoga on the 2nd of September. Bright future. Another possible dirt mile defector is Charge It. He's a four-year-old Tappet Colt out of Outtake Charge by Indian Charlie. He's trained by Todd Pletcher. He's won two races from seven starts this year. Won the Suburban Stakes in July at Belmont Park and most recently came in fourth at the Woodward Stakes at Belmont at the Big A on October 1st. Charge It. Last of our possible dirt mile defectors is Kentucky Derby winner, Mage. He's a three-year-old good magic colt out of Puka by Big Brown, trained by Gustavo Delgado. As I said, he won the Kentucky Derby, was third at the Preakness, second at the Haskell uh, at Monmouth, and came in seventh at the Travers at Saratoga to disappoint in August. Mage, possible defector to the Long Jeans turf is King of Steel. He's a three-year-old Wooten Bassett Colt out of Eldecar by Verglas, trained by Roger Varian. He's won two of five starts this year, including the Kipco Champion Stakes at Ascot on the 21st of October. King of Steel. No monkeying around anymore. Everybody here on out's in. We got Go Rocket Ride. Lightly raced, three-year-old Candy Ride Colt out of Beyond Grace by Uncle Mo. Trained by Richard Mandela. It's three of five on the career. Won the Affirm Stake at Santa Anita in June. Followed that up with the Haskell victory that put him into the Breeders' Cup Classic and came in second at the FanDuel Racing Pacific Classic Stakes at Del Mar on the 2nd of September. Go Rocket Ride. Proxy is a five-year-old tappet horse out of Panty Ride by Include, trained by Michael Stidham. Has won two races out of six starts this year including the Oaklawn Handicap in April and the Monmouth Stakes at Monmouth on the 22nd of July. Proxy. Japanese runner Dermasodagaki 
is a three-year-old Mind Your Biscuits Colt out of Amor Posey by Neo Universe. Trained by Hitaka Onatashi. Has won one of three starts this year. Won the UAE Derby at Maiden in March and finished sixth at the Kentucky Derby. Then last, last out, that's all, hasn't raced since. All right, Derma Sotogaki. Saudi Crown is a three-year-old always dreaming Colt out of new narr narration by Tappet, trained by Brad Cox. It's three of five starts in his career, won his first two races out, and then finished second at the Dwyer Stakes on July 1st, second in the Jim Dandy at Saratoga on the 29th of July, and then won the Pennsylvania Derby on the 23rd of September at Parks. Saudi Crown. White Abario is a four-year-old race day colt out of Catching Diamonds by Into Mischief, trained by Richard Dutro Jr. is four out of two this year. Won the Whitney to qualify for the Breeders' Cup Classic on August 5th at Saratoga. White a Barrio. Zandon is a four-year-old upstart colt out of Memories Prevail by Creative Cause. Trained by Chad Brown. Is Won one race out of four starts this year. Was third at the Kentucky Derby last year. Came in second at the Whitney Stakes in August at Saratoga. And won the Woodward Stakes at Belmont at the Big A on October 1st. Zandon. Ushpa Tesora is a Japanese champion. Six-year-old or Favre horse out of Millefay Attach by King Kamehameha. Trained by Noburu Tagagi. Has won three of three races this year. Won at Kawasaki Keenan in February. Then won the world's richest horse race at Maiden in the Dubai World Cup in March and most recently won at Funabachi in the Nippon TV High on September 27th. Ushba Tesoro. Arabian Knight is a three-year-old Uncle Mo Colt out of Borelius Knight by Astrology, trained by Big Bob Baffert. Has won three of four career starts, opened his career and a maiden special weight at last year's Breeders' Cup meet. Won the Southwest Stakes at Oaklawn in January. Was third at the Haskell Stakes at Monmouth on the 22nd of July. And most recently won the FanDuel Racing Pacific Classic at Del Mar on the 2nd of September. Arabian Night. And lastly, we got Archangelo, he's a three-year-old Arrowgit Ridgling out of modeling by Tappet. Trained by Jenna Antonucci. His four out of six career starts won his last four races, including the Peter Pan Stakes at Belmont in May, the Belmont Stakes on June the 10th, and won the Travers Grade 1 at Saratoga on the 26th of August, Archangelo. That concludes the field for the Breeders' Cup Classic, race nine, 640, November 4th. Big time Saturday, let her rip!